Hi, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on Monday, August 21st. And we started with the difference between fool and full. And I wrote it like two parts because it's almost two parts, but very slightly. You have to round your lips for the foo, but then for a good L at the end, you should not round your lips. So you have to go fool, fool, but it's smooth and it's all in one take. So fool, fool, but you do have to round fool. If you don't round your lips, then there's a chance it could sound more like number three, which is full. And the vowel is, you can think of it as the uh in took, but you really don't have to think of any vowel at all. Think of putting your tongue in the L position first before you make the F, because you can have your tongue in the L, L position full, uh, hold it there and keep making the L noise full. So my, while my teeth are on my bottom lip making the F, on the inside, my tongue is already going to the L position, full. So when I'm finished with my F, I'm immediately making the sound of the L, and that's the noise that it makes. Don't even worry about what vowel should it be. It should be the sound of the L, full, and no lip rounding, full. And number uh, two, you do lip round, fool. Fool. So if you said after dinner you ate a lot of food and you said, whew, I'm full, you definitely want it to sound like full and not, whew, I'm a fool. <laughs> well, maybe for eating so much, but fool. Number three, full. And then the same thing happens with Luke and look. Round your lips for the ooh in Luke and don't round your lips for the um, uh in look. Look, this time you do have to make the vowel because you can't make the L noise and you're not releasing the K, look, just hold it in the K position, look. So if I said, hey, Luke, look, hey, Luke, look, or if I used look as in look out, look out, and if I put them all together, hey, Luke, look at your luck changing. I guess look at will be connected. Hey, Luke, look at your luck changing. <laughs> oh, it's hard to think of sentences when you need to use words. This, you have options. It can be a shoe, which sounds like shoe, or it can be chew, s chew. Either way, a shoe, s chew. Actuate, actuate. Hold the K, actuate. Unutterable, those T's or D's, unutterable. The same thing in the word mudder. It's like mother, but the T's sound like D's, mudder. And pizza, in uh, American English, we, we don't say pizza. We make a, a stop with the T. And so I you can think of it this way, like pizza. Or <laughs> I help people remember it by saying pizza, as in pizza, nice guy. Pizza, because it sounds the same. Pizza, nice guy. <laughs> Do you want some pizza? And the place that sells pizza, pizzeria, pizzeria. Or you can just say pizza place. Playful. When you make the A, make sure you have time for your tongue to rise and go from E to E. A. Playful. When you say bless you after somebody sneezes, um, it's usually pretty quick and it sounds like bless you because the S and the Y next to each other will make the sh sound, so it blends together and sounds like bless you, which I think also sounds like a sneeze. Bless you. <laughs> Industry. Industry. Scissors. It looks like O-R, but sounds like E-R. Scissors. School. This is also an ool situation like fool. So think of it as rounding your lips, school, and then unrounding them for the L, school. Sue and shoe. So we practice the difference between making um, your uh, tongue more tense and creating a narrow space for the airflow for a good clear S and that there's two kinds of S's. You can make your S with your tongue behind your top teeth. In this case, it's making a very small little space. S or these are my bottom teeth and my tongue is like this and it's bunched. It makes kind of a, a round shape, but there's still, there's still gonna be 
I don't know how to do it. There's still going to be a space <laughs> in between for the air to flow and squeeze it so it makes more tension. S Let's see. Top S, S bottom S, S S S it's a little, I think my bottom S is a little more fuzzy, a little extra noise. But when you make shh, like shh, then your tongue is relaxed much more. There's much more space for the airflow. So S, shh, shh. So changing between those two positions is easier if you're remaining in the, in the top position. But either way, you want to make an S. As long as it sounds like an S, you can have your tongue behind your top teeth or you can have it behind your bottom teeth. So that's what we practiced with su and shu. Su and shu. Intrepidity. Intrepidity. And we practice S's at the ends of words. So sometimes it'll sound like a Z if the final sound before the S is a voiced sound. Mar is a voiced sound, so it sounds like Z. Cat. T -t -t, the last sound in the word cat is a T, which is voiceless. So it will look like an S and sound like an S. Cats. Dog. G. The final sound in dog is G and it's voiced, so it will look like an S, but sound like a Z, dogs. So this is the rule of if your uh, voice is off, leave it off, and it will um, it'll, it'll sound like S. And if your, if your voice is on, leave it on, and it'll sound like Z. Oh. Ouches. This is if the last sound in the word is made in a similar position as the S, you're going to have to lower your tongue and put it back again, and that little movement will create the uz sound. So couch. So try to make couch plural without moving your tongue down and back up. Couch. That's what I'm doing, is going directly from a ch to an S. Couch. And that's kind of weird. So we say Couch, stop the airflow, release it a little bit to make the S, and that will make the extra syllable uz. Couches. Ches. Couches. Same with it's an S or a Z, you're in the same position, so you can't just make bus. <laughs> you have to release it. I'm going up for the S. Buses. And it goes back up. Buses. And it makes that extra syllable. And then, because we had suit, up here, if you add the E, it changes the word completely to sound like sweet. Um, the first one is like in a hotel, extra big room. Uh, it sounds exactly like sweet, like candy. Okay, no talking. Fool, full, loop, look, luck, eschew, eschew, actuate, actuate. Unutterable, unutterable. Mudder, mudder. Pizza, pizza. Pizzeria, pizzeria. Playful, playful. Bless you, bless you. Industry, industry. Scissors, scissors. School, school, sue, shoe, suit, shoot, intrepidity, intrepidity, Mars, cats, dogs, couches, buses, sweet. All right. Thank you, everybody. I uh, hope to see you again next Monday or maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. Thanks. Have a good day.